Hello and welcome to WPLMS Tutorials. In this tutorial, we're going to cover how we create courses in the 4.0 version. So first up, here I have the WPLMS 4.0 site. And we'll log into our profile. And here I can straight away go to my courses. And if I have the instructor role or the administrator role, then I'll see the in instructor controls here. And we can manage courses from the manage courses section. Manage all the quizzes that we have created in all the courses from the manage courses section. So these are the shortcuts that we have created. So instead of going into the course and then locating the quiz, you can directly go to manage quizzes and search for the quiz and and you can get all the uh, details about the quiz. You can all the get all the statistics, activity, submissions and even attempt the quiz. Similarly, there is a manage assignment section which works pretty pretty much in the same fashion as manage quizzes. Then we have the manage students. So this will show the uh, students in uh, course quiz and assignment in a table format. And you can also download this table as a CSV. And it also comes with various controls like change marks, change the status of the user or remove the user. Then we have the manage questions. So this is the questions that you have created. So uh, uh, in the uh, in the WPLMS, so this is the question bank. You can add question, export questions, and import questions from this interface directly. Then there is question and answers. So this is the section where the uh, student will ask questions while pursuing the course, and the instructor can directly answer those questions from the question answer sections. Then there is a manage reports section, which is currently in beta, which we'll cover later on. So to create a course, the instructor needs to click on the create course. So when the create course is active, all the other controls will not work even if you click on them. So here we are at the create course and just like the previous 3.x versions here, you can enter a course title and you can enter a small description and as soon as you enter the description you'll see the detailed description of the course and this is the editor which we have included so here you can uh, straight away type in your description so this editor is pretty powerful uh, this is a front end editor and you can you can convert to bold you can link certain uh, sections so you can also embed images directly then we have the so you so to gain more space you can uh, close the left menu and here we have the uh, media uploader interface so it shows all the uploaded files and we can select the image and as soon as the image is selected we'll see you'll see the option to add a course video and you can add a video here as soon as you put the video link it will show the uh, the custom player which is uh, added in the 4.0 version so next we have the course duration you can set the course duration by default it will appear as unlimited then we have the maximum seats this is the unlimited value then we have the course start date so setting a course start date of current day or a day previous uh, will not show this then we have the automatic evaluation so you can enable this so what all changes that you are doing it is uh, the course creative will show that how many changes you did in the previous screen then we have the course settings so here we have bundled all the course settings into various uh, modules so for example if you enable drip then you are going to see all the other drip options for example starting point section drip feed 
then you can enable course certificate and set a course certificate template if you do not have any template then it is going to award the default certificate so we recommend using the WPLMS PDF certificates add-on for this then you can enable a course badge then there is the student retakes and if you want to add any course specific instructions or completion message you can add them using the same editor interface so just more a little bit more about the editor so here we have the columns you can create various uh, column interface so when you select the column the editor will clone itself into into the column parts and you can build your content according like the image so next is the uh, course components so here you can uh, create a new group so this was design dynamics and we come back and we can create a new group so as soon as the group is created you're going to see it in a different format and you can click to edit it same way you can create the design dynamics forum next we move to building a curriculum so here you can uh, choose to upload the package so currently we support scom 1.2 tin can html and if we go back to the uh, curriculum standard curriculum here we have the section unit quiz and assignments so you can create and you can create your new units so here we have added various unit types and once you select the unit type the unit uh, content is going to display based on the unit type that you have selected and uh, you can also search for existing units so here it is going to show what all units are available and if you want you can click on the unit and on clicking on the unit it will show you the uh, display that is for the unit and you can also create a unit using elementor so rest all the units are pretty simple so here you can add a audio file then we have the text then the upload package which is same as the course upload package and then we have the elementor unit so the for editing the elementor unit you have to make sure that the person who is editing the uh, unit has the access to the WP admin interface which means that if you enable the settings which restrict the administrator to access the WP admin interface then this will not work so for Elementor first we need to create a unit because Elementor works on an existing unit so we create the unit and we can add unit tags here so you can add unlimited unit tags and here you can set the unit duration then whether this is going to be a free unit or not if you want to connect it to a unit forum or connect it to an existing unit assignment you can search and add that or you're going to add some at attachments to this so we add the unit first so now we have the elementor unit and when we click on it and edit this unit it's going to show the elementor icon and when we click on this icon so I so it will ask to log in because this uh, will this requires the admin interface so now that I'm logged in it is loading Elementor and here I can design the Elementor unit and here the user can design the unit using Elementor so back to the system if we now loaded it is going to show the elementor unit so next we have the quizzes so we have two types of quizzes which is simple and dynamic so in simple quiz you design the questions one by one and in the dynamic and in the dynamic quiz you select the uh, question tags so if you have bulk uh, questions 
then you can import using the manage questions section where we have the import bulk import and you can create a csv and directly import them and then you can come back and add them to the quiz so we'll just create a simple quiz and here as this course is currently not created we cannot connect this course then we have the quiz duration you can set the quiz duration and auto evaluate whether you want to enable retakes and whether you want to show results after submission you want to add check answer you want to randomize questions so this is a true false question and you can add question tags here and write the uh, question statement so here we are creating the questions one by one and you can set marks for the question and it also supports the math so it will also support the uh, mathematical equations here so now we have uh, two questions in our quiz and we can add the quiz so once the quiz is added we can move back move to the accessibility section so here you can create this as a free course or set a price for the course so this is using the woocommerce interface then there is the uh, apply course applications feature you can in invite apply for course so we can enable free course for now and publish the course so whenever you are changing any setting in the course you need to follow all the steps and come back come back to the publish course section to put that setting into effect unlike earlier we you can simply edit a quiz and do that so here we clicked on manage quizzes while our create course was on so on the background this was already loaded so here you can see that we have the quiz wplms 4.0 quiz you can also edit the quiz directly from here so here we created the design dynamics course so when we open it we see all the uh, tabs which are available to the instructor of the course including activity submissions announcement so this is the announcements and news section so here you can create a new news so all the hooks that were previously available will still work so here our news is created then we have the reviews question and answers so let's go back to the admin and here we can add the student which is and we can add the student to the course here we are added and now when we go back to my courses we are going to see this course and the start course button so this is the start course button when we click on it we see our course so the description appears uh, here and we can start the course so this is how the start course works and here we can reduce this uh, increase our uh, course readab readable section and move on to the uh, unit so this is the elementor unit and here there is no uh, complete unit button as soon as you move on to the next uh, next uh, unit or section or quiz the previous unit is marked complete and we can start the quiz so here you can also increase the uh, the area by clicking on the on this icon so we have now two icons so first one is for the left hand side the menu and this one for the for increasing further width, width for the course so here we also see that we have the question and answer so this is the comments section so this is the public comment section and here you can see that we have various icons so this particular icon where the instructor appears it means ask the instructor so you can click on this 
and this uh, particular comment will become a instructor comment so by default this setting is only enabled on the on the questions which are asked directly on the timeline so you can also reply on this so the replies won't will not have the ability to be uh, converted it into a question so back there is also a note section which you can add so once your course is complete you can directly click on the complete button and here you can rate and if you set any uh, if you have set any complete course message this will appear and we can complete the course so when the course is completed you will see a small notice and you can go back to the and and we can see that we have the updated status so if we go to the manage courses section and here you will be able to see all the statistics and activities which are recorded for the course similarly you can also see these uh, statistics for the quizzes so here we have one total submission and the scores and what time uh, how much time has elapsed when the student submitted then there is also activity and then there's submissions for the uh, manual submissions and when we when you complete any course you can go to the achievement section and here you can see the uh, so in course uh, there is a q and a section where you'll see the question and answers and for the instructor interface the same will appear in the manage questions uh, question and answers section so this is the cumulative question and answers section for all the courses which are published by the instructor also in the courses uh, we have interlinked various sections so for example this particular course has a group so when you click on the group it is going to take you to the group section group of the course and similarly if you click on the forum it's going to take you to the forum section which is the bb press and this is the forum for the course where no topic has currently started so that's it from wplms tutorials thanks for watching